So you're looking at racing Caternix quail, but you're looking at all the different breeds out there and you're wondering which one is the best for meat and eggs. That's what we're going to talk about in today's video, so stick around. Hey there, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name is Chris, and today I'm going to discuss a topic that I get questioned all the time in comments. It's, what is the best breed of Caternix quail to use for meat and eggs? And honestly, it just depends on what you're after. They're all pretty much the same. Now, there is a difference, though. I do have standard quail here, and I've got jumbo quail in that other one. We'll talk about that here in a minute. But as far as the standard quail go, there's lots of different colors and combinations that you can get. Let me open this up here. We'll show you what I've got here. And we'll bring you in close so you can see that. All right, so these are a handful of my quail right here. Um, you can see I've got some standard browns. That one right back there in the corner, that's a standard brown. He's a rooster. I can tell easily by looking at his chest. I can see it's a red speckled chest. This one right here that's kind of the golden color. Make sure you're following that. That is what they call an Italian quail. And uh, those are very easily visually sexed as well. When he turns around, I can tell that one's a rooster because he doesn't have any speckles on his chest. Um, Conversely, right here, one getting trampled right there, that's a hen, but it's a standard brown. Um, she's got speckles on her chest, so I can tell she's a hen. And then in here, we've also got tuxedos. And this one over here in the corner right there with the white on its chest, that is a tuxedo. Uh, let's see, I've got a couple other different ones in here. Okay, yeah, in here you can see there's a white bird back there. That's what they call a Texas A&M usually. Uh, that is just, I mean, there's nothing different between him and the others. He's just a white bird. You cannot visually sex them. You can't tell male from female. Same thing with the tuxedos. You can't tell male from female just by looking at them. You can see there's a tuxedo back there in the back. I happen to know is a hen, uh, but if I didn't know that, there's no way for me to just look at it and tell that that is a hen. And then I've got one that's kind of an oddball. I think that may be called a uh, Manchurian, the one with kind of the gold um, colored... Uh, let me see if I can get her to move around a little bit right here. Right. Oh, there we go. Gotcha. Calm down, calm down. A little different. Gold colored kind of ring around her neck here. This is a hen. Um, I think this is what they call a Manchurian color. Not real sure. Uh, but there's no way to visually sex them either. Okay, so there's just a quick rundown of kind of the different uh, standard size birds that I keep in this hutch right here. As far as which one's the best from all of those, it really doesn't matter. They're all the same. Uh, they're, some of them are a little bit bigger than others, but not really drastically different. They all produce about an egg a day. They all get about the same size. They all grow out at about the same rate. There's no difference between the birds from one color to the next. Now, I have heard some people talk about um, aggression in the A&Ms, the white birds, uh, that they tend to be more aggressive. I haven't seen that in my own own, but I don't keep that many of the white birds around so because I can't tell which one's male and females without picking them up and vent sexing them. I, I don't mess with keeping uh, many of those around, but I have heard some people talk about a little bit of a higher aggression level with them where they tend to pick on each other just a little bit more. Other than that, it's really just what you like. Which ones you think are the prettiest, which ones you like. Um, I tend to like the standard browns and the Italians because I can just look at them and tell automatically, that's a rooster, that's a hen. And that's the only difference between the birds to me and that's what I like. If you like the Italians, um, if you like the tuxedos, if you like the whites, whatever it is, there's no difference between them as far as how many eggs they produce and how much meat they produce. So just get whatever it is that you like and whatever's available in your area. Okay, now there is a difference between the jumbo birds and the standard birds. I didn't believe this for the longest time, but I did finally get some jumbo birds. And we'll take you into the scales and we'll waste, do some weights and we'll show you how uh, they differ from the uh, standard size birds. Uh, but as far as I know, the jumbo birds only come in a standard brown color or the white Texas A&M color. Those are the only two colors you can get. Now that's not to say that every standard brown color or every A&M white bird is a standard or is a jumbo bird. There is a big difference between the size and the two. And they've just been um, selectively bred long enough that you've got pure bloodlines with these bigger birds. They produce bigger eggs. Again, we'll take you into the scale here real quick and we'll show you the difference between their egg size and we'll show you the difference between the bird size. So let me grab a couple of birds here. We'll get into the scales and uh, we'll pick it back up from there. All right, so I've got my, my scale set to uh, grams here, so we should be able to get a pretty good measurement. Um, I've got a standard egg and a jumbo egg right here, and these are pretty standard sizes. If you wanted to really be scientific about it, you'd have to measure you know, the weight of 100 of them and find the average weight between each one, but these are pretty standard size eggs for each bird. I didn't pick the smallest or the absolute biggest egg, uh, just an average size egg from each one. First of all, the standard egg, and if we set that on the scale, we're going to see that it comes out at about... 10.6 grams, 10.7 grams, somewhere right around in there. And if we take the 
jumbo egg here. Let me let my scale zero back out. We set that on the scale. We're going to see that it comes in at about 16 grams. So it's a considerably bigger egg. Let's check out the birds now. All right, I'm going to use a different scale for this. What I've got is a standard bound bird. I just set him inside this cup here. Kind of keeps him uh, kind of confined for a few minutes. And we'll see if we can get a quick measurement on him. Quit jumping around. That comes up to about 7.2 ounces. Somewhere right around in there for the standard brown bird. And uh, let's try the jumbo now. Okay, I've got a jumbo bird sitting inside this cup now. Again, standard brown color, but a jumbo size bird. Let's make the measurement out on him. And you can see he comes up to 10.9 ounces. Both these birds are about the same age, so significant size difference between the birds. Let me get him out here. And you can tell that just by looking at him, honestly. Calm down, calm down. There we go. All right, you can get a good look at her too. Again, a standard brown color, but just a, a jumbo bird. So much bigger bird. You can just visually tell the difference, but we've confirmed it with the scales here. So you kind of get the idea. Let me go ahead and put these birds away. Okay, so you've seen the difference between all the different quail I keep, and the question really still remains, which one's the best? And honestly, the answer is, it depends on what your goals are. If all you're wanting is larger eggs and larger birds for meat, the jumbo is by far the best bird for that. You can see on the scales, their eggs are bigger, and their body just considerably bigger birds than the standard birds are. Now, there is a reason for the standard birds though. If you like the different color patterns, which I do, I like the tuxedos, I think they're pretty birds. I like, you know, the, the there's several of them that I like. So if you're looking for different colors, and that's primarily what you're looking for out of it, and the eggs and the meat production are just kind of a side benefit of that, then nothing wrong with the standard size quail. They work just fine, and for years that's what I've been growing. I just recently got into the jumbos myself, and these guys produce plenty of meat and plenty of eggs, so there's nothing wrong with standard quail. Ultimately it comes down down to whatever your goals are and whatever it is you can find in your area. Bottom line is, don't fret about it. Get whatever bird you can get. Um, as long as they're healthy birds, they're going to do just fine for you. So leave me a comment below. Do you have a different experience with different breeds of Caternix quail? Do you see aggression in some breeds over others? Uh, what are your experiences with that? Thank you guys for watching, and as always, God bless.